Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Review Nation. I'm your host Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And we are doing a massive collaboration, collaboration beer tonight. This one is from Dogfish Head in Sierra Nevada. This is their Life and Limb. It is a 10.2% American strong ale, which is a very you know ambiguous term. It's kind of a catch-all term for a beer that really doesn't fit into too many categories. This is the second time this beer has been brewed. They previously uh, brewed it about a year ago. Um, Basically what it is, it's a big malty beer. Um, Sam Calgioni's family of uh, Dogfish Head, they have a maple syrup farm. Maple syrup from them is in here. Ken Grossman grew a lot of the malt um, that are in this beer. And then they took Alaskan birch syrup and added that into it as well. They took proprietary yeast strains from both Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head and fermented it with that. And then they bottle conditioned it. So really this beer is designed to be aged. And I gotta give a big thanks to SonomaWineUSA.com for hooking me up with this beer. If you wanna buy it, you can buy it on their website. They have it in stock now. And if you guys do buy six bottles or more um, from the website in the special shipping instructions, if you put BGN in there, they're gonna give you 10% off. Um, so they're hooking you guys up. So definitely check them out, SonomaWineUSA.com. So without further ado, guys, I'm curious about this one. I didn't get to have batch one of this uh, when it was released. So let me get into a glass, let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Sierra Nevada's Life and Limb. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Life and Limb, I got to tell you, it looks a lot like a stout. It's really, really dark, a dark brown, kind of a porter or stout brown. There was a Nice three-fingered, off-white, khaki, eggshell type of head on there. Really, really tight white bubbles. Almost look like a milkshake, actually. Um, head is sticking around at 10.2%. It is bottle conditioned, so I would expect that in there. That's where you're getting those tight bubbles from. Nice carbonation coming off the side of the glass. Really, really hazy. Can't see anything through it. It's just a really, really interesting kind of hybrid-looking beer. All right, the aroma on the life and limb. Big uh, dark fruits, plums, raisins, very quad-like sweetness, definitely a malty sweetness. Um, I'm getting a bit of a dark chocolate quality in there. Alcohol definitely coming through. It is present in this one. It's a nice kind of sweet alcohol aroma. Yeah, but it's a really, really interesting smell. It's kind of all over the place. All right, guys. So the taste on the life and limb. Cheers. There's a nice bitterness right at the front. It's not so much a hot bitterness as, as like a stout bitterness as dark chocolate espresso notes. Um, kind of giving a little twinge right at the front of the tongue. Middle of the mouth, big dark fruits, that maple syrup sweetness shining through big time in this one. Raisins, plums, but I'm also getting uh, the dark chocolate. There's a slight smokiness in there like you would get in a, a solid stout. Big roasted barley character. Um, nice sweet finish. Aftertaste is definitely kind of a hot bitterness. Um, dark chocolates coming back and definitely those sweet dark fruits. Again, like a quad. Uh, you don't taste a whole lot of alcohol, but I'm actually feeling it. You definitely feel the alcohol burn in this. The carbonation is awesome. Bottle conditioned beers. It feels like just velvet coating your mouth. Um, really, really great. Great idea to do that for this beer. It helps it a lot. It's a big, big, big drinking beer. Um, lots of different flavors coming on. You know, big dark fruits. You're getting the syrupy sweetness from the maple syrup. A little bit of a smokiness. It's a really, really, really complex beer. And I would expect nothing less from these two breweries, to tell you the truth. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Dogfish Head, Sierra Nevada, Life and Limb. I'm gonna give this one a B plus. I think this beer with a little bit of age on it is going to just be a crazy good beer. It's probably going to be in the A territory like a year from now. Right now though for me it is a bit disjointed. You get the big dark fruits, you get the, you know, the figs and raisins like you get in a quad, but at the same time you're getting these stout characters. And while they do come together, I don't know that they ever kind of, you know, do anything grand together. Um, the bottle conditioning really, really is great in this beer. Um, really nice mouthfeel, like velvet, like I said. And like I said, this beer is designed to be aged. But I think with that said, it is a great beer and it's something you should try fresh and maybe sell her a bottle if you can get one. Um, definitely go over to SonomaWineUSA.com. They've got them there if you want them. Again, use BGN code in the uh, shipping instructions and you guys are going to get 10% off six bottles or more. So with that said, guys, it's going to get a B plus for me. And I think over time it's going to be an A beer and that's you know the best I can do for it. So with that said, good folks, remember life is too short. Chicken is in beers. Cheers.